Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show. It means the world to me. While you're at it, please subscribe and follow. My name's Chaz Bruns, and I travel the world in search of the cheapest food, hostels, transportation, and tours so you don't have to. Which means you're gonna get to find out some of the best places in the world to eat, some of the best people in the world to meet, Howdy, partner. and where to go to have a damn good time. And the best part is, I'm gonna show you how to do it all dirt cheap. This episode is proudly brought to you by Soma Novo Bodywork in Brewer, Maine. They provide a variety of professional spa services including massage, foot soaks, facials, salt scrubs, and a therapeutic state-of-the-art float pod. Make your appointment today. So I'm on my way to film an episode in Yosemite National Park, but my friend Ryan lives in Reno, Nevada, and he wants me to see Virginia City. We've only got a half a day there, so it's going to be a micro episode, but I think you're going to like it. Here's some Virginia City facts. The population is only 855 people. The famous Mark Twain once lived and wrote there. And it's where they found the Comstock Lode, the first major silver deposit in the country. Going to Virginia City. We'll ride just like the wind. Hit the trail again. 25,000 people used to live here in the 1870s. It's got a bit quieter since. Cause I may be gone to hell, but I sure ain't gone to jail. But don't be fooled, it's still a rowdy town. They've got events, reenactments, and parades like this all the time. Welcome! Welcome to Virginia City and the Kettle Corn Depot. And guess what? We're giving it away right here at the window. Cup your hands and enjoy the pour. Our gourmet kettle corn, we call it rock and pop and kettle corn cooked in coconut oil, fresh from the kettle, topped with sea salt. We label it sweet and salty decadence. What do you think? Delicious. Sweet and salty? Yep, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Glad you're enjoying it. Our bags are only $5 and we're bagging it fresh right from the hopper inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yeah. Okay. Who wants to hold this one? You're very welcome. And if you want some antiques, the Kettle Corn Depot has that too. Speaking of shopping, let's head over to Sawdust Trails. Lots of weird stuff in here, and Ryan likes it all. If you've got kids, you might want to take them here. Lots of cool stuff to see. It seems like everywhere I travel these days, I come across a Zoltar. Starting to get a little spooked. I think Zoltar's following me around. Yeah, it's probably just all in my head. Ryan's a member of the Washoe Club. He says it's his favorite place in Virginia City. And I can see why. If you're gonna drink whiskey in an old mining town, it might as well be in a place like this. So you know, a lot of people ask me, well, how big are those guns? And they said, what caliber is them guns? And I said, well, the caliber is big. That's all I know. I said, well, I'll show you a bullet that, it, that, that, that these guns shoot. You see that? I said, well, I could stand 20 men in a line, and I could shoot one bullet and kill 20 men. But the problem is they won't stand in a line. So, but anyways, I'll show you what happens when, when the time comes. Not bad, huh? Not bad for the length of these guns. Well, you know, they say size isn't everything, but it helps. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it again. If we never get to it, we'll never get to it to do it again. So here's to it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. $5 shots of whiskey. 
And when you buy a drink, it gets you free admission to the museum. Follow me. This is the Millionaire Staircase. It's one of only two like it in the world. So you notice it's not braced in the middle. And when it was originally built, there are no fasteners in it. So it was all joined wood. And this was how the millionaires in town would get their women up discreetly to their club. Pretty cool. Back here, this is the crypt. At what point in the 1870s, there were over 70 bodies in here because the, the ground gets so cold, it freezes, and they couldn't bury anyone in the middle of the winter. So they'd stack up all the bodies here in the crypt. We're actually underground because of the way this is built into a hill, so as you can, you can tell Chaz, it's very cold, right? So this is how they keep the bodies fresh. And this was stacked all the way up to the top at one point because of the a break out of typhoid. So you could, this is what's considered the most haunted building in Virginia City. And Virginia City is considered the second most haunted town in America. It's another thing that's really interesting about the climate here. It's very dry. And um, they always had a problem where cats could become mum mummified. So this is actually a cat that was found in a wall here in Virginia City. And as you can tell, it's pretty well preserved. Now, my favorite part. Miners here were crazy. Water was more expensive than whiskey, so what they drank all day, known as tarantula juice, 50% coffee, 50% whiskey. That's what I'm talking about. What are you doing? Taking my drink to go. Legal to drink on the street here. So here we have the Territorial Enterprise. It was Nevada's first newspaper. That's where Samuel Clemens became Mark Twain. Colonel French, third doctor over. General Scott. Major General John McAllister Schofield, I command the division. Commander? Yes, absolutely. My, my pleasure. From Alaska to Arizona. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help the cause. Please. I will call you up, sir. All right, let me go get my six. My pleasure, sir. <laughs> okay. Now we're headed down into the Silver Dollar Saloon. And aside from all the women's lingerie, they've got dollars on almost everything. I love this place. If it's your first time here, you better leave a dollar. You fold a quarter up inside with a tack sticking through and you throw it at the ceiling. And believe me, it's not an easy task to do. Why can't you do it? <laughs> Only the chosen few get it to stick. I decided to go the easier route. I just tacked it to the wall. I got a beer for myself and Ryan and a shot for Elaine, and it only cost 10 bucks. Elaine needed some whiskey to warm up. We heard it was snowing outside. The weather changes every 10 minutes in Virginia City. 100 mile view. Speaking of views, you can still see the tunnels under the sidewalk that they used to force the Chinese miners to walk in. Sadly, they were considered second class citizens and weren't allowed to walk down Main Street with everybody else. It's hard to imagine, but that's just how it was back then. Time to get some dinner at the Red Dog Saloon. We've heard they've got cheap pizza by the slice. Let's get a slice of pie. So far, I'm a fan of Virginia City. Brian says there's one more place he's got to show me. Good old Bucket of Blood Saloon. Bucket of Blood. If I was a miner living in Virginia City back in 1870, I'd be coming here. Let's just hope we don't get in any trouble. Either you're getting shot dead or arrested. So don't do anything stupid. Just grab a tasty beverage of your choosing and enjoy the free live entertainment. I think it's safe to say I enjoyed myself. And Ryan looks a hell of a lot better in this hat than I do. And I swear it had nothing to do with their $5 whiskey shots. Although it might have loosened me up just a little bit. <laughs> the 
Now we're switching gears to something a bit more somber. We're here at the Virginia City Cemetery. Obviously super historic, pretty old. Um, there's people from all over the world here because of course during the silver 70s, 1870s, um, this place was hopping. So people came from all over the world to try and seek their fortune. Very cool, let's check it out. It's so eerie. The cemetery, the clouds just rolled in, it feels like it's midnight. It's nuts. A lot of the people that are buried here helped create this country. These are the first people coming across the country out here at California Gold Rush times. I, I gotta give it to them. It's a brave ass thing to do. There's a lot of history in here. Let's check it out. Let's go all the way up there. Yeah. See that list at the very top? This is Edward Story's grave. He is uh, the namesake of the county here. So this is Story County. This is Edward Story. Even lost some young ones. We got a baby grave right over here. Pretty creepy stuff. Pretty creepy stuff. I really didn't think this trip could get much better. Then I spotted a deer. And for whatever reason, it decided to walk towards us. Part of me thinks it just wanted to be in the episode but it's more likely that it was just hoping we'd have some food. But since we didn't, it lost interest pretty quick. Still an awesome experience though. <laughs> Disney World up here. <laughs> nope, done. Good old VC. <laughs> it was a great end to a great day. It's John Mackey's home over there. I wanna thank him for giving us a great day in Virginia City. Now we're off to Yosemite. We're not staying the night here because we're headed off to Yosemite. So if you're planning to come, make sure to budget for a hotel or Airbnb.